Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear friends. On behalf of La Martinia for Girls and Readers Club, we welcome you to our Google Brunch session in association with Kolkata Literary Meet. Before we begin, may I ask for the duration of this session and the next? Thank you. Um, and now, without further ado, may I request our officiating head and vice principal, Mrs. Sarkar, to welcome you. Members of the board, distinguished guests, organizers and representatives of the Kolkata Literary Meet, students from neighboring schools, ladies and gentlemen. It is my special privilege and honor this morning to welcome you to this August gathering and also to our school, a school which goes back 179 years, a school that was established on grounds of compassion to spread education to children of those days. A very special word of greeting to our esteemed guest of honor, Ms. Joanne Joria, Director and Public Affairs Officer of the U.S. Consulate in Kolkata, and also Sadia Azim from the consulate. Allow me to introduce to you our esteemed guest. Ma'am, Joanne Joria, popularly called JJ, in fact she wants us to call her JJ, holds an MBA from Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri with a focus on organizational development and redesign. She has completed all her graduate courses toward an MS in Community School Psychology from Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. She holds a bachelor's in science and psychology with a minor in special education from the same institution. Before joining the Department of State, Ma'am Joria worked on the faculty of a community college as a psychology professor, as a director of human resources in two regional medical centers and was the captain of the squadron commander in the US Air Force Medical Service Corps and as a community health counselor in crisis centers and stress-related disorders in institutes. JJ arrived in Kolkata in September 2013 as director of the American Center and public affairs officer. She came to India from the UK where she served first as a transatlantic fellow in the Foreign and Commonwealth Office Press and then as an AIO at the US Embassy of the London where she was responsible for the news media team. Ma'am Joria has spent many years in different embassies of different nations like Iraq, Mexico, Venezuela, Seoul Republic of Korea. And when I met her, such an unassuming lady, ready to oblige, ready to mingle, with the Kolkatans and this city. And so this is our privilege to have her in our midst because she accepted the invitation at a very short notice in the weekend when we had the holidays. And so Ma'am Joria, on behalf of Lamatnia for Girls, we welcome you in the traditional Lamatnia way. At the beginning of 2015, Readers Club of our school decided to host a program like this, a literary meet. But why do we take the pains of holding a session like this? Yes, of course, we have stalwarts of the literary world on stage. 
the stars of the literary world have literally come down but more than that as a girls school we believe in women's empowerment not just giving lip service but we believe that empowerment begins with reading and so we have organized this particular literary meet and so without further ado we have on stage the great mr ruskin bond many of us have bonded with him long time back when in our childhood and it is a dream come true for all the young friends there to see you on stage this morning and we welcome you in our inimitable la martine away we also have a very young author a young man mr samit basu he is a columnist a journalist a documentary filmmaker a screenwriter and a few minutes back he told me it's a little odd when i've attended fests here in the school and today i sit here as a panelist but equality is the day is the rule of the day and so we welcome you to our school once again Mr Rahul Bose is on his way so as he comes in he will join us but we would like to honor Mrs Seema Mohan Chandran who will be moderating the session this morning thank you Seema and we welcome you to our school This morning I would also like to thank two people. They have been instrumental in coordinating this, the representatives of the Kolkata Literary Meet. And before Ms Nera goes out, ma'am, we would like to honor you, Ms Anurita Nehra and Malvika Banerjee. She is on her way. So, uh, girls, you will have to go down and on her and i now request our mc for this morning lovelyn to come and take it from here we now present to you a short orchestral ensemble by the members of our music club
our special guest of honor, Ms. Joriar, to kindly address the gathering. This is, this is a long microphone. <laughs> Hi, um, as I've already been introduced, my name is JJ and I'm the director of the American Center. And I just wanna say what an honor it is to be here today uh, amongst all of you that take reading so seriously. Um, I grew up with books. My father was a librarian and a history teacher. And at one point when I was, oh, I guess about eight years old, my mother refused to take me to the library anymore because I wasn't spending enough time outdoors playing. Uh, that didn't stop me. I still read at least uh, three or four books a week. And I think I believe reading is the first way we get to expand our imagination. I've uh, not had the pleasure of reading any of uh, Mr. Bond's books. I did look at one just a minute ago, but I understand he's a, a great figure in children's literature in India. And it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Also, uh, comic books were a, a big force in my life. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of something called classic comic books. They were really big in the States back in the day. Um, but uh, we weren't permitted in my family to read X-Men, Superman, Batman. Uh, those were considered frivolous. We could read only classic comic books, which were um, Huck Finn, Tom Sawyer, Count of Monte Cristo, um, those type, until we were old enough to really read the book itself. Comic books, or books with comic flavor, are also very important. 